Hello, fellas. I'm uh, still in my driveway here. Figured I'd better talk to you so I'm not running my phone going down the road. But uh, me and Derek, my firewood and cutting buddy, are heading three and a half miles to the local small town I live by because uh, I got a firewood connection with the tree guy. And I talked to him a couple months ago if he'd find me some firewood he didn't want. And he's messaged me a couple times in the last month or so but I was too busy at work to get anything done. Um, and I told him that, but now uh, I got today off and I need to get something done and get this wood or this nice tree guy is gonna quit calling me. That's my fear if I don't uh, keep my word and get something done. And so he's got a whole ash tree that he knocked down that he don't want the wood and it's sandwiched between two trailer houses and the trailer court in town. And me and my buddy are gonna go see if we can get it. And uh, um, he's got my buddy got a one-ton pickup that he bought from his work uh, just dirt cheap I think they just practically gave it to him because they like him but he's pulling my dump trailer with with it and so I could pull my excavator so hopefully we can just go up there and pick up this wood and come back and make it all in one trip is the goal to uh, save some time or make things a little easier and uh, we'll see how it goes here I'll show you my buddy's pickup and thanks for watching Okay, we're we're here at this joint, fellas. I'm uh, talking quieter than normal because we're we're in the we're in the midst of people's living quarters here. But so I read uh, on the internet that you got white ash, green ash, and black ash. And this one right here, I'll show it to you. That one is a sister tree to this and all this stuff back over in here. There's a whole other tree like it that's cut down. And I'm going to call this green ash. Does that sound right? I'll show it to you. Um, and to me, I'm picturing, we've got in town, these big 25 or 30 inch trees that go up 30 or 40 foot with hardly any branches. And there's kind of a whiteness looking to the crack in their bark. I'm calling them white ash. I hardly ever get them, but they're just beautiful trees. And if this is green ash, then what's black ash? Does that grow by the cricks? Or does anybody know where is this green ash? If anybody can answer that. Let me show you this tree. This is this is what I'm calling green ash. Although there's a little whiteness. Can I show them your pickup truck? Oh, yeah. All right. I told them briefly the story about how you. Uh, I didn't tell them how much you got it for, but I said you must have got it because they liked you. But you got a hell of a deal on it, you know. You don't have to let me show it either. Oh, you do. Okay.
Well, we got some pretty good wood, almost a trailer load so far. I suppose we're 20 some minutes deep into this, but uh, little to no physical labor. I suppose I've probably burned up 15 bucks in gas, 10 or 15, you know, between pickups driving here and a, and a thing. My buddy and I split that, but that ain't too bad. I'll show you the wood here. This is what we got so far. We got the 14 foot dump trailer pretty much full of ash, which is some good wood. And then uh, for the creme de la creme, we're going to uh, cut this stump here while we're at it and take it. And I think that's probably a benefit to the uh, people that own this because they probably didn't pay the tree man to, you know, to cut that much. And so I reckon if we cut that and get that out of there, I think that they would appreciate it. And uh, my buddy is going to cut it because um, it's good practice for him and it's fun to do. So. Let's see how that goes. Go back to where you were, right, when you were in there, and let your bar come on through to make that cut straight that way, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, you're doing fine. I know I'm bossy. Like, you know how you got with the bottom of your bar all the way that way? Yeah. You're still at an angle, so let the front of the bar come on through and finish it up, and then you can completely cut from that side. Okay. Just keep coming like you are, leave it. your chainsaw you could cut into it or you could cut the other way and throw it that way yep it's a little harder that way Pinch your thing up. A little more. Even a little more wouldn't hurt you. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Pick that angle so that way you get over to the other side of your cut. That's good. Now you're good to go, probably. That thing had some weight to it, didn't it? We'll have to show the show the guys here our uh, notch. I know we butchered it in front a little bit, and that's my fault. But otherwise, it looks like we come out pretty good. And I'm going to say this is between 25 and 30 inches, 25 to 28. I think our bar won't go all the way through it. Mine won't. So it's got to be 25 plus. 